I'm going to overload your brain with stuff. My cat is freaking out. <laughs> Okay, so shit, I didn't mean it. smoking crack dude i think another big question that i have that's that's that i'm like really struggling with is like i don't know like like what like i sometimes like i watch a lot of you i watch a lot of videos and like a lot of the times like i see you like the you, you call for a certain play and like i understand why that play worked but i don't understand how you knew that play was gonna work beforehand or like i don't know like i just i i, I struggle to like to, to, I, I just it's just game sense i guess in a way so I well let's build let's build the framework then okay so what you need to do now because you're a brand new player right so what yeah. you need to do is your framework needs to look like this step one par clear okay what did i say four to five seconds four to five seconds off of the 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 benchmark clear right the one that i linked you par yeah. clear if i randomly find you on shivana you better be clearing a full clear at uh 323 323 324 standard sure. if you have a leash this should be very easy okay that's the first thing par clear now the next thing that you need to do par clear scuttle fight okay This is the this is the step by step. So scuttle fight, and then I'll put in parentheses times two, as in can you double scuttle your opponent? So after you beat this Diana, right, or whatever, go for the bottom scuttle and try to take it off the map if you can, if you're allowed to. Sure. Sure. Then three power to so be power level. So just basically power farm, power clear, power level slash clear, whatever, right? So until, that, like indefinitely until I see a play. Or... Well, basically, if you're allowed to take dragon, go ahead and take it. But do you know how the camps spawn? They just spawn in the order you clear them. So I've seen I've seen some people that have like the the, the timers for the different camps on their mini map, and I don't know if that's like you don't not... need it. You don't need it. Look, okay. look, it's very simple. All you do, if you clear a camp, I believe you got. I think I believe you got about thirty seconds. If you just full clear, it's around thirty seconds until the next is, camp is, spawn. Is, is it is it the same for every camp? Yeah, yeah. Even, the even the ones buffs. that aren't buffs. Even the ones that aren't the buffs. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So whichever ones you clear, if you're doing it in order, they just spawn in order. So like, if you go bottom up, so say you go golems, chickens, wolves, gromp, and then you gank top. Well, as long as you back right away, you're going to be able to catch your next camp. So when you're clearing, it's, it's the system is, is, is easy. Okay. So you start your game, your Shivana, you start red, right? You do this, you do this. Well, sorry. I drew it the wrong direction. You do this, you do this, 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 this scuttle. Okay. So you see that? That's your first yeah. clear. Then you decide. Now you're at a decision tree. I can gank top. I can gank mid. I can go for double scuttle. Like I can do all these things. All right. As soon as you're done, what camp's going to spawn next? Golems. Golems. Exactly. Simple enough, right? So you would make sure that your next path, I'm making it in red now, is golems. 
and then you I clear to, clear up to the top. Chickens, again. yep. Wolves, Gromp. Decision time again. Where do I go? Who knows, right? Then when we're done, golems again, right? This is urgent. You must practice the clear. I need to hammer this into your brain. Fuck ranked for a bit. Fuck doing that. Par clear. Remember, I wrote that out on the list. Yeah. That's your first goal. Now, you ask a very good question. So, I get to this position. What do I do next? That's a good question. Because it's very... Nothing in this game is black and white. But I can give you the tools to understand the decision better. So, as you're clearing... So, I said the par clear is first, right? And then the framework of like power clearing and power leveling after the scuttle fight. So, the next step... So if we have one, two, and three, right? And we're fucking killing it. And we've got all these things done, remember? Yeah. Now, the next step becomes jungle cam. Which means, as you're doing these things, your camera control needs to improve, right? So, yeah. if we back up, you get your vision. You're going to get so good at your clear. Now you can do it with your eyes closed, right? So you played Overwatch competitively, so you know, right? There's things that you can now do in that game that you don't have to fucking think about it. Yeah, Another obviously. player, you give him the sticks and he's going to fuck it up, right? Same thing with yeah. League. So right now, you're struggling with the, the baseline. Well, as you get better, as you're finishing your clear, your, your camera will go like this. Hmm, right? Now you would have pathed up. This will come with time. You would path this way because you can't. You can't really get over this wall. As we're doing chickens, I'm gonna put my camera on you. As you're doing chickens, your eyes should be going like this. As you saw that, you would go like this towards it and see what happens with the play. Then, after the play, you assess. So here, you go, okay, mid, top. Both of these guys could rotate, but you would, like I said, I would probably take the fight anyways to see where it goes. But my point is, is that the camera is the next thing that you, that you unlock, right? Now you're hitting your par time. Now you're getting through your clear. Now you're contesting scuttle on time. Now we get to this assessment phase where you need to make sure that everything that you're looking at around the map, you're factoring into your decisions. So like, all you would do is you would go, well, I saw that this guy just used his flash and mid is even. So I'm going to take this fight because of that. That's why I'm saying fight here. I'm saying fight based on the limited information that you're giving me with the camera, by the way, as well. Sure. Sure. What I just that framework that I gave you, that's that's global. Every, every jungler has the same idea. I'm basically showing you the basketball court right now. Right? I'm like, yeah. here are the hoops, right? Here are the here's the foul line. Here's yeah. the here's yeah. the baseline. That's what I'm showing you. You are fighting over this. The way we fight over this is we've got to be fast as fuck. Right? We can't yeah. get to this on time if we're not fast as fuck, which is why the first priority was is or is the clear is going to be the clear. So when you frame it out, think about it. If you push the if you push the crab down, well, you're saying, well, I wouldn't know to gank her. You will because you understand if you're you want the scuttle, what does she want? The next scuttle. Exactly. She goes, oh shit, he already got one. I gotta get the second one, right? Fuck. And you just gank yeah, her. So I catch her on the rotate. Yes. Okay. Because she's playing the she's on the same basketball court that you are. She's following the same rules. You are both, like I said, Mario Kart. You are both playing Mario Kart. Right? So it's like bing, 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 bing. And you show up to scuttle, you're like, uh, you're like uh 315, right? Nope. And she's like 322. Yeah. You you're fucked, right? I take scuttle. Because when I get the schedule, I hit her with the red shell, and then she's fucked. Exactly. The red yeah. shell being level four in this case. Sure. Because the level difference is everything. 
So, so, so the level difference is more relevant than the scuttle. Well, in the in the instance of like your your five camp or whatever, um, since we five camp, the scuttle is what gives us our level up. Okay. And yeah, the so scuttle gives you know gives bonus XP and gold too. It's basically view scuttles as like mini dragons. And and um your laners don't give a fuck about scuttles in low elo. They don't know. They're they they barely know what their role is right now, right? So like okay. they don't have they don't fucking know. Um so most of the time, like I said, don't expect many rotates when you're when you're newer. Just expect like you're playing you're playing against this guy most of the time. And that's how you should frame the game up. Because all all video games are is just a conversation without without words, really. Yes. Okay? Yeah. So here you know you have the level lead, all right? Give me a reason. Give me reasons why we win. We have a level lead. We have a health lead. We have HP. He may not. Okay, what else? Mana, right? Yeah, sure. What else? We're oh, not yeah, done. Yeah, he's he's Oom. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's a it's a two v one. Nasus can path upwards, and he can also slow him with. I w. don't agree with that argument because, well, maybe, maybe if he's really good, he'll wither him, right? Maybe. Well, I mean, it's, let's let, let let's say let's say I I w up for him with speed, and I stop him, and and Tom Kench thinks that he can win, the, thinks that he can at least at least get a good trade if he if he knows he's gonna die, he's gonna he turns around and fights me, and while he's fighting me. Maybe he thinks, oh shit, Nas is gonna come up here. I don't want Nas to get a kill lead on me. And he flashes away. Well, Na then Nas W. Well, he already flashed. If you had, if you were camera controlling, you oh, know okay. no flash. Well, I, I, I had no clue that he had flash, but I, I guess I'm just sort of, sort of winging it here, but I don't know. I'm no, just... that's good. This is good. This is what, this is part of the process, dude. So, you know, you got level lead, you got HP lead, you got mana lead, you got flash lead. Anything else that you're missing? Not that I'm aware of. You have, um, you have red buff. Oh. So what does is red buff just like flat damage increase? Like what is it? So basically what is what it's doing is it's giving a little slow and it's giving a little burn. So basically when you do it like this, this little mini discussion needs to be happening the whole time. And then someone else in chat, exactly, the one that I didn't cover too. The wave is in a fine spot to gank him. It's not the minions aren't too crazy to where we're gonna get in trouble ganking him. So then, and the other one is cooldowns, which, you know, if he's missing any, I don't think he's missing any here though. So it's very likely that he has all his cooldowns or he can choose, but he has low does mana. His, does, I mean, his, his, his like slows me, doesn't also even if I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically here, and then there's one more too, vision. We don't, if he doesn't have any vision down, that's another argument. So not that we know. Yes. Yeah, so if we know this, that's good. So all these things, we're having our debate, right? Our, our wordless debate. Do I kill this guy in top lane, right? Do we or not? And it's like, well, based on this, we probably win. That's all League of Legends is. So when you're saying that you're struggling with the decisions, <clears throat> that makes sense. It makes sense because the game's hard and you're new to it. And it's overwhelming, like you said. And you don't even know what a lot of these champions do. <laughs> so... I totally understand. I understand the struggle. So that is why in order to get to this, that par that I told, told you about today is yeah, the most yeah. important thing. So now we can confidently get to the decision tree of, all right, what the fuck do I do now? Every person you fight, my man, this should be the debate that you have, right? Sell to yourself why you win. Don't just roll your eyes at a play and go, oh, I think I lose. Okay, don't do that. That's not good enough. Instead, tell me why you might win. At every, at every street, anytime you're near somebody, give me a reason why we might be able to pull it off. Because that's the key with League. I got about 15 minutes and I have to run along. So... Basically, freezing works like this. Uh, let's let's grab lanes here. Okay, I, I have a perfect example. So I was playing Pantheon, and like it was it was it was the, it was the first wave of the game, and I like I, I I hard farmed it, and then after I farmed it, Fizz just had a wave under tower for seemingly forever, and I had seven CS and he had twenty eight CS, and I I got absolutely smoked on, and I had no clue what I did, and I assumed it had to do with the wave. So you assist ping, you basically, if the wave doesn't get under tower completely, that will happen. That's it. 
the wave just has to get under tower and you'll never have this problem now you can make it a problem if you randomly hit the entire wave with abilities let's do another exercise all right take the champions out of the equation you kill both of sure. them what do you do with the wave here i shove i wouldn't so how do i how do i know when it's a bad idea to all shove? right so check it out so right now let's don't again no champions let's just pretend they just fucking die right you come in sure. you kill them you don't touch the wave at all and it's it's like this just for the purposes yeah. of discussion yeah right now there's two minions on red side plus two okay because you've got another wave coming here so it's plus two you understand this wave's the same not really the, well this is a cannon wave sure. right this is a cannon wave there's over there's overflow from the last wave that's your plus two there's two range creeps right yeah now this means in this position it's not great for Vladimir, but the wave is going to basically just kind of stay in this position until he gets back. Because the plus two will slow this push down a little bit. The wave will naturally push out, but if you take everything, you are fucking this guy. He will have no XP for the rest of the game. So, huh. if the wave is on the if the if the wave is on your teammate's side, yeah. right, and it's gonna and it's gonna get stuck here, that's fine. This again becomes it, it comes with practice. But I, I the way that you look at it is you just let me uh, get your vision actually that could, that can help too. What you need to do is you need to start mirroring the waves and you go wait. If this wave is here, this wave is here. If this wave is here, this wave is here. Okay? That's how yeah. you that's how you match it up. Your eyes need to go to here and mirror it. That's that's the key. You mirror what's happening down here. So you go, oh, this is cannon wave. Cannon wave, cannon wave's coming. And then you just kind of like line it up. So what your brain should do based on the mirroring stuff is like your your eyes should go, oh, it's gonna hang right here. Okay. Is the minion wave even? Or does one side have an advantage? Well, that's why I said this side is plus two. Plus two range creeps. Because blue side is closer to your tower, the tower's here, this side is going to push out. But it's not going to push out super fast because these range creeps are slowing it down for you. So if you watch it play out, see how the range creeps, see how they group up? See what I mean? The wave yeah. will get kind of hung here. If you push, you yeah, you'll get all this farm, but Vlad will get nothing. So when when I use that example of like, oh, everybody's dead, try to leave the wave so that your teammate gets the farm. If the wave is going to push regardless, that means you need to push it. That's what I'm yeah. trying to say. If the wave is stuck here, you don't have to push it because Vlad isn't... It's you know why you know why a, a simpler way to even frame it would be you're pushing because you don't want your teammate to die again or to get caught so like uh let's go here top say both champions die would you push here or no yes yes why i honestly couldn't tell you well Let's go back through it again. Okay. There's a cannon wave here, right? And a cannon sure. wave here, right? And that's based so, on the mirroring. Okay, so 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 why is the fact that it's a cannon wave? It's I, it's cannon wave, non-cannon wave doesn't matter. Okay. I'm only all we're doing is we're just we're we're visualizing what's happening. Split the wave in half. Okay, split the split the the lane in half like this. Yeah. Are the minions on our side or our blue side or red side? They're blue side. Exactly. Who's got more minions, blue side or red side? Blue uh, blue side's gonna. So blue side's probably gonna push, right? Yeah. It's gonna push, but if we don't help it push, it might get stuck here. Is that good for us? No. Oh, no, this, no. Oh, there. Yeah, never mind. This is never That's good. Bad. This is neutral. This is great. This is shit. 
So here you are shoving again. Imagine both champions die. You are shoving so that your Nasus doesn't get stuck in the shit later. If you get the wave under and it goes under the tower, it's going to bounce off the tower and come back. He will never get stuck here. He only has to walk backwards and just farm safely. Oh, God. I'm really glad that you pushed me to articulate this, though. I hope it helps a little. Um, It's 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 a lot to take in. On I, the know. First I'm gonna, I know. I'm going to... I know. I want to... Uh, I, I fully... Uh, fully plan on, on, on watching this back and studying this. But, Good. Uh, Please do. What's your goal, though? But my goal... Right now, as a jungler. Specifically? Uh, to, to get my farm down. Um, the what did I call it? What did I call it? The par. Par, exactly. Four or five seconds off the base clear, right? Yeah, which is Perfect. what, like three fourteen? Uh, no, no, no. It's not that. It's not that crazy. It's it would be three twenty four twenty five for a full clear. Full clear. Okay. Okay. That and is red to that is red to blue. So red golems, chickens, wolves, gromp, blue. And then as soon as I'm done that, I look for a play, for a blue scuttle. Yep. And then you look for a second scuttle. But you're gonna be, back. dude. You're gonna be in. Pra you're about to be in practice tool for fucking eight hours. I'm just telling you. That sounds mind-numbingly boring, but it is what it is. It's essential. Okay. It's essential. Yeah. No, listen. It's gonna make the game a lot better for you. I promise. Like okay. Falaris, Falaris will tell you the same thing. Like he would make you. He would make you clear. Your first goal, par time. Next goal, par time plus camera control. Got it? Yeah. All right, man. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good one. Really, yeah, I, good I really luck on your climb. It. Yeah, no problem, yeah. dude. Good luck. Thank you. You too. Have a good stream, man. Peace. Sweet. <clears throat> Nice gotta go to the gym. Work on my tiny leggies.